Hey y'all, this is Tori Imahara here, and I'm in front of the Nugget Bridge in uh, Cerulean C City because I just want to explain something real quick. My OCD kicked in again, and I'm probably going to title this episode that little thing that I just said right there, that my OCD kicked in again, and I deleted another part. Thankfully, it wasn't too important. All that happened pretty much is that I started battling these uh, six people here on the Nugget Bridge, and at the end, uh, what you do is you uh, talk to this dude right here, and you will get a nugget. So that's nice for you, and because we have Minion, we can get this item, so it's not totally useless. Hoorah! Yay, Minion! And also, uh, we need to make sure we go back towards Lavender Town in this episode, uh, because I need to show y'all an item you can get if you talk to a certain person. Uh, hopefully we can do that today. Uh... Let's see here. I wanted to use that carb or protein that we just found. So protein. Let's use it on no tower because why not? Won't have any effect because she's just so awesome. So we'll just keep going down until it actually works on someone. Except for you know minion. Uh, protein use. Uh, Gojira. Try you. Nothing. Uh, Zo. Nothing. Uh, Shiradui? Nothing! Okay, well, I'm not using it on Minion, so we'll try to boss. If it doesn't work on her, we'll sell it for money, okay? So, hey, we need to do this anyway! So, let's go ahead and trigger this little thing right here. Aw, why did you have to show up and bug us now? Do you know that they call people like- what they call people like you? Mouth is being wonderful. Pests! You heard me right, pest! Dot 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 Oh, those badges you- you have. Are they Johto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Okay, then come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. And we'll be taking her on uh, much later because we're going to have to grind for a bunch of levels before we do so. So now we're going back to Route 9. And uh, I will do some editing magic uh, later. And, uh, you know... We will, you know, fix that. So yeah, we're going to do some editing magic. And I'm going to meet y'all at the uh, place where you can, uh, you know, return the thingy that we found earlier. That is the machine part. If you heard me blowing something off my recorder, I'm sorry. It's just that I hate it when stuff gets on your recorder. It's really annoying. But, you know, maybe we'll have enough time to go to Lavender Town, especially since, uh, you know, we kind of need Minion for that little thingy that we want to find, and, like, a couple of items, too, so. And since, you know, Sabas is already level 60, we might as well. So we want to find one of our lovely super repels, even though we kind of wasted one earlier. Well, no, we didn't waste it. It was very useful. So now that we've done that, that will help us out. And finally. So now we are here, and this guy's going to give us a team we can sell because Hotaro already knows it. And actually, you know what? I'm going to be really mean, and I'm going to teach this move to Siddhartha. That is going to be a great idea because I know that Siddhartha can learn this from a previous playthrough, uh, and my uh, Espeon had it. So yeah, although I didn't have an Espeon in my uh, original Crystal playthrough, I had a Ghost type. That's what I had because you know Ghost types are good. They're cool. Yes, we shall. We shall teach it to Siddhartha and get rid of lame, lame Morning Sun because you know we have hyper potions like crazy. So hoorah! Now Siddhartha is also spamble against water types. Woohoo! If Hotaru ever, ever, you know, doesn't work, we have a backup plan. Hoorah! He's also now super good against flying types. Yay! So, Super Repel still hasn't worn off yet, so let's just keep going here. And then I think in today's episode, we shall also go back to Lavender Town. Uh, get that item that we didn't get earlier since we didn't have Minion on us. And also we shall 
I'll uh, show you all another key item you might be interested in just in case um, because of the fact that I think in the part that you know I OCDly deleted uh, I showed y'all where that item was so I don't care about repels effect wearing off I do love the fact that I can use cut because yeah I would say in the Jota region you use cut more than you ever ever do in the Kanto region so yeah so now that the magnet trains back up we're gonna complete a little side quest and maybe go to Lavender Town later I don't know but hopefully actually you know what let's do Lavender Town now that sounds like a great idea since you know I wanna get that item and make sure I show y'all where to get that key item in case you're interested in it because you know I want to make sure I get stuff so Lavender Town is going to be this way and we're gonna go the fast way around Whee! and I already took on all these optional trainers off screen and hoorah and the same for this area down here so down here is route 12 and route 12 you can find some trainers I already took on all the optional trainers you can find here off screen so I did that and I did get you didn't I yes I did I did get you okay so okay here's the item you might be interested in uh, if you talk to this guy right here he will give you a super rod so that is the best rod you can find in the Pokemon world alright so you can catch the best kind of fish with it so I just wanted to note that and uh, as you can see I got this guy too and now we can get this item yes we do because minion is wonderful oh minion how we love you for learning frustration cut and we found a calcium i believe this raises your speed we'll save that and see if we can use that on subasa if not then we'll use it on someone i guarantee it so route thirteen back to route thirteen already hmm you know what let's backtrack i'm sorry for all the backtracking but i'm gonna go back to saffron city i may or may not jump cut this i don't know but We'll see how much time we have left. We shall see indeed. We have about eight minutes left for recording. So, you know, I wanted to, you know, make those amends and say I apologize for my OCD once more. I have written a note to myself to no longer delete videos off of either my iMovie app or my photos area uh, until I'm absolutely sure that they are uploaded to my computer. So there you go. So yeah, part, I think it's 51. Uh, or maybe 50 starts a little abruptly in the middle of a battle because of uh, stuff that happened earlier. So hopefully we can finally do this little side quest. Because we need to talk to her in order for it to happen. Hi, did you really lose your Pokedot? Finally! Yes! This is the side quest I was talking about. You'll really give me a rail pass if I find it for you? Sure, I'll look for it. You think you lost it when you were in Vermilion? Pardon? I shouldn't decide what you should do, but I'm really worried. What if someone finds it? Okay, so that is what we want to do. We want to go back to Vermilion City and find that Poke doll. And remember what I showed you earlier in the uh, Poke Fan Center, wink wink hint hint. That is where we need to go. So we will ride along on our awesome bike because we don't have Subasa with us. And I'm too lazy to go to the Poke Center. Ah, get out of the grass. Uh, withdrawal right now. And besides, we need Minion maybe for some secrets along the way and maybe just traveling around so now we're back in Vermilion City and you know it's right there oops not where I want to go we want to go still not where I want to go and do you give me something okay yes we did sort of I didn't go over the fishing guru so I don't care about that just if you catch a really big magic card the fishing guru will give you I don't know something Something, something, might be something you want to do, something you might not want to do. Now we finally can talk to this guy, say blah, 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 and he found the Poke doll, and apparently he thinks it's a real Clefairy, so yeah, he's kept it. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, apparently he might be schizophrenic or something, I don't know. But then again, I'm probably schizophrenic. I mean, look at the fact that I've already lost two parts of crap. And I also accidentally went into the grass. I did not mean to do that, people. Hey, back to bite! We love you, back to bite, very, very much. But we are going to run. 
Hoorah! So hopefully in the next five minutes we can complete this little side quest and show you the awesomeness of the train station! And that's probably how we're gonna uh, finish this episode off is showing you the awesomeness that is the train station. So finding the house. There's the house. So you go here, go in, go talk to her. She'll say, yay, that's my Clefairy Pokey doll. See the tear where its right leg is sewn on? That's proof. Here, the, the magnet train pass like we, like she promised. Okay. So now we have that pass. For, it's for the magnet train. So blah, blah, blah. So apparently they tore their old house down for this station. Okay, well, that's kind of, I don't know, weird, I guess. But at least they gave him a new house. A lot of uh, governments just tear down the old house and don't care. So this is a wonderful Magna train station. All that side questing that we previously did was for this pure, pure, beautiful reason of this right here. You just take this train. And voila, you are in Goldenrod City. So if you ever, ever for maybe like a trainer battle or something, or you want to like uh, buy something, you know, somewhere. Although you can probably find some stuff in Saru, uh, in some cities in Kanto, but yeah, if you ever, ever need to go to the Jota region for any reason, this makes your life so much better! Woohoo! So look at that, we're already back in uh, the Johto region. So after doing that, and showing you the awesomeness of the train once more, and getting back to uh, Kanto region, uh, and apologizing for my OCD, I think we might sign off. Plus, there's some other annotations we can make right here, right now. So, other annotations I can make right here, right now, besides apologizing for my OCD and showing you, you know, hey, this got lost because I spammed the delete button too much. Um, let's see here. I remembered later that uh, I forgot to mention Greece when I said about historical things I like to learn about. Uh, Seismic Toss is like Nightshade, not Dream Eater. It does the same amount of damage as you are leveled. The item you can find uh, near Mahogany Town in that area where we found the rare candy and where you can find the Wednesday person, the dude will give you a black belt, which ups fighting type moves. Other things I learned from Trevor Conroy's Let's Play are the name of Proton, the, about the running shoes, and about uh, double battles. Um... Oh, and I, re I found out later, uh, thanks to my friend, that Shuckle is a bug rock Pokemon. So it's not even a water type at all. I was completely wrong. So there you go, after making all those annotations and wonderful blabber. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is off screen, I'm going to go back to Vermilion City, take on those last two optional trainers you can find in the gym. And I'll see y'all in the next part. Uh, and I think we'll start in uh, Saffron City. So I'll meet y'all here in uh, Saffron City right in front of Mr. Psychic's house who gave us Psychic, which, you know, we can sell for money. So I'll see y'all in Saffron City in front of Mr. Psychic's house. And we'll just start from there and figure out where we want to go next. So I'll see y'all later. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.